What's up friends, my name is Will Myers and today I'm gonna share with you some code that is gonna make our drop down titles up here clickable. So I can click on our services, it'll bring me to the our services page. I can click on team, it'll bring me to the team page. Let's jump in. All right, so this tutorial is an update from a previous tutorial that I did that does the same function, but it was a little more cumbersome to set up and I think some people were getting confused. So I've updated this entire tutorial. So let's talk about just the general setup that you need. So over in our pages, we need, of course, a couple drop downs right here. And the way this code works, by default, these drop down titles, our services and team right here, they aren't clickable. I can't click on them and navigate out to some URL. And the way this code works is it just takes the first URL within a dropdown, that's our team for team and our services, all services for our services, and it will direct our, our dropdown title to whatever the URL is of the first nav item, that first dropdown item, our dropdown title will direct out to that. So that is what this code does. It moves this the, the URL for this one up into this, and then we add some CSS that hides this first one because we still need it there just for, uh, for, for mobile because when you're messing around on the mobile menu, you have to be able to click on the drop-down title without going somewhere. I'll show you that when we get there in a little bit. So let's get that set up. So there's two steps to this. First is let's just make this clickable to whatever the first item is, and then we'll hide this first item. So over on my website, go down to uh, find our tutorial, the clickable folders for Squarespace 7.1. I'll have a link down below. And then go down to the directions area. And there's two bits of code, our JavaScript. This is going to make the dropdown title clickable. And then our CSS, which is just gonna hide that first item. So let's start with the JavaScript. This is gonna go in your site footer code injection area. So I'm gonna hit copy on this. Let's go back to our website. I could hit uh, forward slash and type in code right here or back on your home screen right here, you can just hit the search bar and type in code, and we're gonna go to our code injection area right there. And then this code is gonna go in our footer, our JavaScript. And again, all this JavaScript is doing is it's just replacing the URL, it's just turning our dropdown title into a link. So I can click on this now, and it is going to be a link to whatever our first URL is. So I can click on our search, our services and it will bring us to the our services page. So this is super handy. One thing I'll, you'll note is that as I click on it, it looks like it kind of double loads. It sort of flashes twice a little bit. That's just happening in the back end. If you look at it on your live site, that is not happening. We can click around without it doing that double flash. So this is looking really good. Now, now what I need to do is just hide this first item because it's a little redundant to have two links pointing to the exact same place, right? So over here, back to the tutorial page, we have a little bit of CSS right here. Let's just hit copy on that. And this is just gonna hide that first item. So I'm gonna go to, uh, we were where I had the, the JavaScript. If you just go back one, you'll be in website tools and you can go into custom CSS, or you can go back to your main uh, navigation er area here and just type in CSS into that search box. And then we'll just paste it in right there. And now that first item is hidden and our drop down titles still link out to wherever they need to be. So that is how this works. And if you need to change that URL, it's very simple to change right here just in our drop down. So we can point this to just some other URL somewhere else on our page. One last thing I wanted to show you is how this works on mobile. So if we go down to mobile, you'll see we have our drop down items. And of course, we don't want these to be linked somewhere else because we need to see the items within these folders. So on mobile, as we click on this, that link, all services, will still be there. So we can link out to all services. So feel free, be sure to title this whatever you want it to be to look like on mobile. There is also one little bit of code as well that makes none of this work on tablet devices or touch devices really because you need to be able to touch this without linking out somewhere to see all of our drop down items you have to be able to touch this item to be able to see the items and so this won't work on touch devices it'll just revert back to what we normally want to see like all services and all these 
All right, so if you found this interesting and want some more customizations for your Squarespace website, check out my Code Curious membership that comes with access to the code catalog that has well over 100 different code snippets. Some of the ones that are really fun that I just launched is just some animations for images. So as you scroll, they float around. You can move, add breadcrumbs to blog posts, all sorts of different things. Even if you're not a member, you can come to this page and just search through all the different things that we have available for you. So if you wanna learn more, and add more customizations to your website, check out this page. Hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions and have a good day.